a little bit about where I'm from. So I'm, I'm originally from the Rio Grande Valley. I uh, grew up in Harlingen, Texas. Yeah. Not Arlington, Harlingen. No, it's just you say Harlingen, and they're like, yeah, I know where that is. Like, I don't think you do. But I was, I was really fortunate enough to have the childhood that I had was really out of a, a Hallmark movie, I'm telling you. I grew up on a piece of land where I had my, my grandparents about 25 yards away, and I got to have breakfast with my grandma and grandpa and ask for rides when I missed the bus <clears throat> and call them when I didn't want to be at school and was sick to the point where my mom's like, stop picking them up. But, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough. I have tons of aunts and uncles there. And the business on, on both sides of the family had to do with agriculture. Um, my grandpa, Covarrubias, was a, was a farmer his entire life. And, you know, it would be Christmas Day, and he's out there on the tractor. Uh, Easter Sunday, he has every part of his family at his house, and he's out on the tractor getting work done. And... Uh, my other grandfather, you know, they were in trucking for a really long time. And I had a, he's my mom's cousin, but, uh, you know, out of respect, if, if there's someone older than you, they're automatically your uncle in our culture. So I have like 150 uncles. And uh, he said something to me when I was about 13 years old, when I thought I knew everything. And um, a little bit of advice about what it is when you finally uh, are a man. And he said, sometimes we do things as men and as fathers and husbands, uh, and a lot of the times you're just hoping that it's enough. So I wanted to write a song. I had this image of my head, in my head of my grandparents in the morning, in the early morning, uh, my grandfather reading his Bible and having his coffee and uh, getting ready to start the day. And that's where this song uh, came from. Honey, I'm going to try and sell a load of something that I harvested early in the morning before you were up. And I left some coffee warming for you in the pot. Cause I know you'll need it early in the morning when the kids get up. So would you say a little prayer that it yields just enough to be enough? If you don't mind, dear, could I ask you for another day when you keep it all together and pray for clear weather while I'm away? And I know this season has been harder than the one before, but I work it even longer to try to one day for not to have to say a little prayer that it's enough to be enough. Enough to make it through another long winter and try to help my brother out. His farm has been in better days than it's in now. If we can make it to another hot summer, it'll be our independence day. When we won't have to worry if the kids will be okay. Would you say a little prayer and give thanks that it's enough to be enough? I'm headed home now. 
every mile mark seems to serve to remind me of all the little prayers you said over the years that my truck may make it and I can somehow outrun the storm and that all this time away from you is worth fighting for so won't you wear down another couple beads on that rosary for me and pray that it's enough enough to make it through another long winter and try to help my brother out his farm has been in better days than it's in now if we can make it to another hot summer It'll be our Independence Day When we won't have to worry if the kids will be okay We'll just say a little prayer and give thanks that it's enough We'll say a little prayer and give thanks to the Lord That it's enough